Hello. I also keep um, one Indian stick insect. Now this stick insect is on its final shed and it's shed into an adult and um, you're lucky enough that I'm going to be able to show you um, the shed and its position. It shed last night. As you can see the shed is by there, the skeleton sort of colour and the specimen is going along the flank. Right, so to the left is the Indian stick insect. It's um, a few months old now. It's, uh, it's transformed into an adult now, that's very good. Um, these Indian stick insects can sort of clone themselves and they can produce eggs. Um, this is quite uncommon for stick insects because most stick insects need male and female to reproduce sexually. Um, stick insects, like many insects such as crickets, go through a series of molts and every from each stage of molts they get bigger. Um, because insects can't um, can't expand and grow, um, what they do is that they molt into a, a different skin. Um, not like humans, where we can grow, and um, our hardness is within, which is our bone. Um, these insects hardness is on the shell on the exterior so that's why um, that's why they molt um, to the right now I'm just going to zoom in for you this is the molt um, you can see here you've got the back end and you can see the antennae and you've got your legs And here we will show you from a different angle. Uh, there you are. So in the uh, in the closest to the camera is the adult, and the um, skeleton sort of colouring is the shed. I keep the stick insect in this enclosure. Um, this is an enclosure that I got from my local pet shop. I use a soil substrate. Uh, the soil substrate is a tropical substrate used for tarantulas and scorpions. I spray it every day and um, I usually put bramble leaves in. And as you can see, because she was shedding well, it's not a she, it's an it, I should say. Um, it was shedding uh, last last night, and I knew it was going to shed, so that's why I haven't put more brambles in. But now that I've known that she shed, and I've done this video, I'll put more brambles in, and she'll be able to feed. I spray it every week. Uh, a good density of spray in there, and that keeps moisture levels high for them. Stick insects are hardy animals and they're great pets for young children and school education talks. Definitely a pet worth looking at if you haven't got a lot of time. I hope you enjoy this video and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Don't forget to sub and comment below. Goodbye.